Hey guys, and welcome to today's segment of do's and do nots. On today's segment, we're going to be doing knots. Today's knot is the knot I call the Jeremy Thurn knot. It's kind of my own little creation. I call it the Jeremy Thurn knot simply because I've never seen anyone else do it before. Uh, not that I go around watching people tie knots and stuff, but I have been to a few weddings. So anyways, um, this knot's a very good knot. I've never had one break. It's kind of a combination of the polymer knot and the uni knot. So, the polymer knot gives you the double line, so you know, your hook won't cut it, the eye, and then the uni knot just gives it added protection. Um, and I'm going to be using a bigger hook and bigger line just to show you, but you can use it on any size. You know, there's, there's no limit. No rules. Okay, so let's get started. I've colored my line a little so you can see it. Um, I got my hook. You can use it on J or circle. So the first step is to do the polymer knot. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend this into a double line, just like that. That way I can put it through the eye of the hook. Take it, push it right through that eye, just like that. So that's the first step. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line and do like a little overhand knot. Take it like that, and I go under this loop. This is what it looks like. I'm going to pull it a little tight just to make this loop bigger. And I'm going to put the hook through this loop. Just like that. I'm going to pull it back over this way. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten it. Always wet your knots. Okay, so that's the first step, that's the polymer. Now to complete it, what I do is I take this end, this uh, extra end, I'm gonna pull back this way and start looping it down towards the hook. That's my first loop. And you can do this three or four times, you know, depending on how much line <clears throat> that you have left. So once I do that several times, I got this. I take my knot, and I pull it tight. Might need pliers, depending on how tough it is. And boom, what you got. And uh, I've never had one of these break. I've had this line break, but the knot is always held up. You know, I'll, uh, so it's a good overall knot. You know, use it inshore, offshore, whatever. And then you just take your other end and you can tie it to a swivel or, um, you know, you can tie this directly to the line, whatever works for you. So that's our segment of do, do's and do nots for today. Thanks for joining in.